We'll just do a quick update on the 55. So the floor pan, like we said in the last video, I think never came in. So we wind up riding to Athens to double nickel and they had some in and they were awesome. I also got a video of their graveyard. They've got like a 55 or a tri five graveyard back there. So I'll upload that too, it was amazing. But uh, same as before, you see, we just strapped around it, used a cherry picker, picked up, you know, undone your bushings, uh, lifted the front up, and then me and daddy just walked it in sideways and set it in. We'll have to do a little finagling now to move it around here and there, but there it is. Cut the back, just kind of marked off where we didn't need it, chalk lined it, and then just put like some painter's tape and followed the, the seam and cut the back. And surprisingly enough, I mean, you know, a lot of the new stuff you buy don't work good. This worked really well. I mean, this didn't take us 20 minutes. Now we had a third guy helping us. Uh, the guy putting my pool in, he was here, so he helped us also. <clears throat> but there it is. It'll look real nice. Now just do some tack and pinch welding and... Get it all where it needs to be. I don't know. There's probably other ways to do it, but this way worked pretty, I mean, it was real easy. Use those boards right there, them cedar pieces we had to set underneath the frame when we needed just a little bit of a gap and use that two by six or two by eight, whatever that is over there and just beat on the front a little bit to move it back to get it lined up. So the double nickel uh, floor pan is a good one. So now it'll be back to the, uh, get that done and then we'll be rocking and rolling on the car. We went down to Moultrie swap meet and then we went yesterday to the Clarksville Georgia swap meet and then rode to Athens to get this. We didn't get much. We got a uh, Lions porcelain sign that somebody probably stole off the side of the road and then charged you $200 for it. Got a couple of uh, steering wheels just because they were hundred bucks a piece. Well worth that. And then a couple of porcelain lights got this one because I got a gas pump and I got that old Texaco sign. So it'll be cool to put this one on a pole and rewire it with like LED lights. You can see it has three lights on it. It would have been in the middle of an island, uh, the gas pumps. That's about all we did. All right, well, there's a quick three minute update on the floor pan. But I will say if somebody watches this thing and I'm doing it, I, I think this was a, don't you agree? I think this was a pretty good way to do it. Just loosen it up and pick up the front. I gotta be honest, I was kinda surprised as easy as it was. I'm still kinda surprised because I know what people charge to put in floor pans and everything and that really wasn't that bad.